61A lecture number six. Announcements. Today we'll have a hog project party. That's a chance for you to come work on your hog project, where there will be lots and lots of TAs in the room to help you out. That starts at 6.30 p.m. in Cory 241. We actually have several rooms in Cory, so if you come to 241 and it looks full, look for a sign on the wall that tells you where to go next, and I think we'll have room for everyone who comes. The Hog Project is due this Thursday, but I hope you'll complete it by Wednesday to earn an early submission bonus point, and checkpoint one is meant to be done today. A checkpoint is worth one point out of 25. You might as well get that point by finishing phase one, but it's not a crisis if you don't. The bigger problem is that you might not finish the whole project on time, and that is really important. So the checkpoint is there for you to make sure that you're on track to finish the project on time. You can work with a partner on phases two and three once you have submitted phase one. Homework two is posted. It's due on Thursday. It's pretty short. Midterm one is next Monday. There will be no lecture that day, and the midterm will be held in the evening. I'll send a seat assignment to you on Sunday so that you know where to go, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the exam in Wednesday's lecture. We'll have another additional topics lecture this week. They're held on Wednesday at 5 p.m. in 3106 Echeverry and are completely optional, not necessary at all, and just for interest. But I wanted you to know that they're there. Even if you missed the first one, you can attend the second one. The regular lectures this week also have alternate times in addition to the regular times. So here are the regular times, and here are the alternate times. Monday's lecture will be repeated at 8 p.m., Wednesday's lecture will be repeated at 8 p.m., and since nobody wants to go to lecture on Friday at 8 p.m., we'll hold lecture eight on Thursday. So if you go to this alternate lecture, you can actually hear the lecture content before the regular lecture. In any case, these tend to be less crowded, more pleasant, and a very nice way to attend live lecture. But if you're watching this video, that probably means you're not going to come to live lecture, and that's fine too. Today's lecture does not introduce much new content at all. It does go through some examples that should help you solve problems, and in particular, could help with the hog project questions six and seven, which involve self-reference. I'm also going to describe what was going on with homework one, problem number four, that question about if expressions and if statements that a lot of people got right, but were still confused by even after they got the answer. And the theme of this whole week will be how to use what you've already learned in the last two weeks in order to write programs that work, as opposed to introducing a lot of new content. We'll start that up again after the midterm. 